So welcome to what I think is going to be the last video on calculus. I know it was a really, really long topic, but uh, it's going to come up all the time in paper one. So it's really, really important that you know it well. Um, so this topic here, average value of a function. So this comes up quite often as well. So it's a handy few marks uh, if you can get to grips with it. It isn't too hard. The formula looks kind of mean, um, but it's not too bad. This is one of the things that the formula, I'll just say, uh, formula, it's not in the tables book, okay? not in the tables book. So you have to learn this formula off by heart, okay? So that's just kind of important, formula not in tables book. Um, anyway, okay, so the average value of a function. So I'll give you that formula in a second. The average value of a function. Say for example, we have this function here, so this red one, it's going up and down. It could be the tide or the cost of something. It, it kind of always changes, okay? So because it's different every single time, there's going to be an average value. So say, for example, it's going to be roughly here, okay? So this is just a rough estimate now. The average is going to be there. Those numbers, there, those blue dots, are always going to be roughly around that green line, okay? So if we wanted to calculate that, say if we knew what these blue numbers are, we wanted to calculate that green line, we could do that. So if you remember from statistics, so statistics, we would say that the average, so just AVG is going to be the average, is equal to, say, for example, if the numbers are 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, again, then it starts going down again, plus 4, plus 3. Say there's those numbers, that are, those are the blue dots. So we divide that by the amount of blue dots, okay? And then our average value is going to be 3.14, okay, if you calculate that, put that into your calculator. So that's going to be about... 3.14, okay, but that's only an estimate. It's not a perfect, um, perfect average. But basically, if we use calculus, we can find the perfect average value of a function. So here's this, here's the formula. Here's the one you have to learn off. So it looks worse than it is. So I'm actually, gonna write it. So it's f of average. No, actually, I'll change that. I'll say so. It's f, and then I'm just gonna put average here in a subscript. Okay, f average is equal to one over b minus a by the integration a to b of f of x dx. Okay, so don't be so worried about it. It looks a lot meaner than it is. Uh, we're going to go through an example now, and uh, you'll see exactly what each thing means. Okay, but just as long as you get the general idea, the average value of a function is kind of the middle value that all the values are roughly around that. Okay, um, so what am I going to do? I'll go yellow. Okay. Okay, so here is an example just drawn out there. So we have this function here, so this kind of quadratic curve, the end shape, uh, and from, going from say zero to six, and it's some other values over here. We have our little scale and our y-axis drawn, uh, and we have a function here. So we want to find, this could be, I don't know, a ball going up and down or something like that. Uh, we want to find the average value that this function is always about, so it's always around some middle value. So it's going to be around eight or something like that, okay? Um, but if we want to find the exact value, we're going to have to stick it into this formula here, okay? So this is where I'm going to start explaining what the formula means. So I'm going to say f average, okay, is equal to 1 over. So these things here, 6 and 0, they are b and a, okay? They're the limits of integration. So this time it's 6 minus 0, like that, okay? So 6 is always the, b is always the bigger limit, so in this case it's 6. And a is always the kind of first, the smaller limit, in this case it's 0, okay? And that's multiplied by the integration from 0 to 6 of f of x, which is just our function, minus x squared plus 4 of x plus 12 d of x, okay? So hopefully there you see that it actually isn't as confusing as it looks. It's just you need to remember that 1 over b minus a, and then you have to just integrate it, uh, a definite integral, whatever your uh, limits of integration are, so over that region. Does that kind of make sense? So you're just integrating it with your limits, and then you have to remember to put the 1 over b minus a, and then stick that all, uh, work it out, put it onto a calculator, you'll find your average value, okay? So I'm going to work through that now, and so f average, this is going to be 6 minus 0 is just 1 over 6, okay? If we integrate this, it's going to be minus x cubed over 3 plus 4x squared over 2 plus 12x and then that's 6 and 0 okay so that's going to be equal to 1 over 6 multiplied by 
it's going to be minus 6 cubed over 3 plus 4 by 6 squared over 2 plus 12 by 6. Big brackets, and that's going to be minus 0. So all the zeros are going to go, all the x's are going to go to 0, and you sub 0 in. So our answer is it's 1 over 6 multiplied by 72. So that means f of average, actually, we'll do it in a different color. Go orange. f of average is equal to 9. Okay? So we're going to draw that up here. That means our average value over this thing here from 0 to 6. So that's the important thing. So because we chose 0 to 6, it's, that's the average value only over that region there. So if we wanted to go uh, further back here or further across, the average value would change. But that's just over 0 to 6, our average value is 9. And that's basically it all the time. You just need to sub your limits of integration into b of a and then do a little uh, definite integral and it isn't too bad okay so hopefully that makes sense uh, how to get the average value of a function and again remember that the formula is not in the tables book uh, so you do need to learn that off so i think that's everything for calculus so far so if you have any questions leave them down in the comments and uh, we can if you send us in a question we can do questions for you and um, if not just like and subscribe and don't forget to sign up to exam learn so we're going to start our next topic then uh, as soon as possible okay bye bye